The barn activates your senses. I mean, you're just, you're blown away. Now it is, I believe, the largest used bookstore in the United States, maybe the world, in that we have 25,000 square feet of books, and we figure the count is like 300,000 books. Five floors of books, and that's a lot of books. They realize that a book is a friend. When you're a book person, you're a book person. Every category of books. Dogs and cats and horses and war. And they'll come in from China, they'll come in from Japan, they'll come in from Europe, all over the world. They want to move in. They, they say, can I sleep here? May I sleep here? They're in awe. They're in awe when they walk in here. There's truly nothing like it. And it's just something friendly about a book. We're at Baldwin Book Barn in Westchester, Pennsylvania. Baldwin's Book Barn was originally an 1822 dairy for the Darlington family in Westchester. And William Baldwin purchased this barn in 1946 as a bookstore. It was very remote and they had it as a gift shop and a bookstore and it's been a bookstore since then. People kept donating books and it became larger and larger and larger. And learned people that have lovely libraries and they call us up and they just say, we have all these books. And it's like we rescue the books. We love them and we have a place for them. I mean, even small bookstores are saying no. Libraries are saying no, but we're still saying yes. Yes, we'll take any book as long as it's you know in good shape. The rare ones, are in our glass case downstairs. 1690, that's the oldest one I'm aware of. They go rather quickly. For collectors that come all the time. Our most expensive book is, was The Great Gatsby. It was the first edition of Great Gatsby that had a mistake in it, and that brought a lot of money. And we supply movie companies with books when they need linear feet. They'll say linear feet of bird books, linear feet of horse books politics, whatever, and we can do it. And we price them as cheaply as we can because people nowadays, they'll come in and they'll look at the price of our book, they'll get their phone out and say, aha, uh -huh, I can get it for $2.99 on eBay, but then they have to pay for shipping. And we have two ghosts, one female by the name of Sharpless, which is a local family, and two male ghosts. But they're not nasty in that I am never nervous when I'm here by myself and locking up in the, in the dark. Through this pandemic, people have learned the importance of books and that they're reading more than ever. Our numbers are up, and that means they're buying more books than last year. Book people always want to hold a book. A book is something you can take with you on a train or a plane or whatever. You definitely would find something to your liking. In fact, I'm amazed when people come in and walk out without a book.